Hey guys, Pepper Perry here. Just another quick update. Only two days after my last update. It's September 28th. Again, it's been about uh, it's been about six weeks with this these two plants and about uh, four to five weeks with these two plants here. But I want to show you this. This is my Brazilian ghost. Look at that. It is starting to put out some flowers or the very beginning stages of the seeds. I don't know if you can see that, if it's focused. You can see some of the seeds there. Definitely tons of them right over there. I mean, that's, that's crazy that this is starting to produce some flowers and potentially some pods. I mean, that's literally six weeks worth of growth. I mean, that's insane. Just take a look at that. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna grab my scissors and then I'm gonna top this pepper plant for two reasons. One, to gain, to encourage the bushier growth. Um, not that I think I need it needs it really but I also want the branches to start branching out and then have a nice uh, shorter bushier plant which is a bit sturdier once it gets bigger so I'm gonna top pepper plant try and show you this for you so I'm gonna top this guy right there Yeah, it hurts me. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not easy to do that. And there, I've topped the pepper plant. This is the part I took off. Maybe you can see uh, the seeds and the buds a little better there. It was starting to be formed. And that's what I'm left with. Now hopefully these get a bit more light to so these, all these side shoots that are already coming out will start uh, growing and ready developing because now they get a bit more access to the light, not blocked out by the top. Cut off the buds because we don't want this plant to go into a budding mode or a fruiting mode. We want this to continue in the vegetative mode. Thanks guys, just a quick update. Hope you enjoyed that and subscribe to my channel to follow the continued growth of these hot peppers in the Aero Garden. Uh, <clears throat> as you saw, I topped pepper plant which looked like that. I topped it just below the Y. You see where it started to, the plant started to create a Y there. There's one on that side, one on that side. I then topped it just under that Y. Took that off. Now I've already cut a couple other leaves off as well. Now you see you've got these big plants on top. It's a little bit controversial as to whether uh, it's a good idea to cut these off or not. I'm going with the theory of cutting most of these big leaves off so then all of these lovely side shoots at the bottom get the full sunlight, get the full light from the Aero Garden. Uh, I don't want these shading out the bottom leaves. Yep, it looks drastic and trust me this hurts me a lot to cut them but I'm gonna do it. Let's cut the one. Now I'm also cutting it not right down at the root just because I can see there's some extra uh, new growth coming up there so I don't want to uh, disrupt that so we want those to start branching out and then branching out with the fork left and then right and then we obviously want all of these other wonderful plants here and here all of these branches to now come out because we want them to grow with the additional light that's being given. I'm gonna cut this one I think I'm gonna leave this one on because it's not really blocking too many uh, direct shoot underneath it this one's also quite big and it's also not blocking too many so I'll leave it on uh, it's a fairly large one at the bottom but I'll leave it on because it's not blocking so this is how it's looking now this is all the carnage, uh, as you can see here, there's a lot of leaves that I cut off, that's a, a lot to cut off. Now you see the great thing is also it's roughly the same height as the other ones, 
which is great for um, being able to lower the air guarding lid down. And then here as well, I'm hoping you can see already there's some growth there. Even further down, you can see some more growth coming up. Um, and that's the hub. So follow and subscribe to my channel to watch how this topping experiment and this pruning experiment worked. I topped uh, and uh, pruned these hot peppers and we'll see what the continued growth looks like. Subscribe to my channel guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments section if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer it.